Adam Cecil, hotter than the Carolina Fuck. Summer Scott, are in the booth. Zane Riley of the Revolt going one on one with the ace of CWF Mid Atlantic, Eric Royal, in our opening contest this week on CWF Worldwide. This is what I was looking forward to when I saw the sheet. This is actually a rematch from earlier this year. A great match between these two. It was back in the month of March in the Pro Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship tournament that these two locked horns. Honestly, one of my favorite matchups of the year at the Mid Atlantic Sportatorium. A return match, like you said. But this is a very different same Riley that we are seeing. The, the fun-loving, happy-go-lucky, the party manimal Zane Riley has been replaced by a man with very, very strong morals and good. daredevil style there from Riley, putting his body on the line, right into the front row of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. The party manimal may be gone, but Zane Riley still wrestles with, I'm going to say, even an increased intensity from what he used to. Yes, he has. He's left a lot of the fun stuff behind. And I don't recall ever seeing him do a dive like that. That's a big man to be doing that. And these are two heavy, heavy hitters. Riley and Caleb Conley, the revolt, have made headlines across this country and around this world in recent months. Just a few weeks back, nearly tore down the Cabarrus Arena in Concord against the Young Bucks, and ooh, oh. questionable move there from Riley. Uh, very questionable. I mean, he didn't, he didn't technically kick him low, but he did. Ron Weasley, count this three. Hit right in the face of rookie referee Kane Justice, only got two out of it. Yeah, you're right. Not grounds for an automatic disqualification. Referee's discretion. And Kane Justice gonna let him go. A win from Riley here means a whole, whole lot. Because as we touched on before, Cecil, there's not many people that pin Eric Royal's shoulders to the mat and make him say, I quit. No, man, I've actually never seen him say, I quit. But seeing him get pinned straight up with no chicanery. Oh, nice defensive move there by Zane Riley. You know, I think we got cover. You know, kind of the, the character per se that, that he portrayed for so long, really, people people kind of took him lightly, forgot how skilled he was. I mean, that's his real life nature, or at least it was, you know, a, a, a party or a, a fun loving guy, but the revolt has given him a purpose. It has given him personally and professionally a renewed purpose. And Royal just put a cap right in the mouth. Cover two, only got two. two. Yeah, well, we've seen the revolt. It's, we've seen Caleb Conley go from more of a, a young, fun-loving guy to more of a, a D-bag himself with this whole revolt thing. Uh, Conley was always kind of, he always kind of leaned towards D-bag. Nevertheless, inverted atomic. Oh! A Piper tribute there on the eyes. Can't justice right in his face. Riley is manipulating this young official. Cover two, only got two. You hate him. Two. I hate you too. Wow. You soulless ginger. Riley spends too much time talking to the official. He's going to find himself in a world of hurt here. You do not want to take your eyes off Eric Royal, even for a moment, even for a split second, because not only is he so powerful, he is locomotive fast. Yeah, once he gets a head of steam going, he's almost impossible to stop. And he loves that European uppercut. He hits harder than just about anybody. But Riley, uses, he does have the weight advantage, and he's using it. He does. That's something that we talk about every now and then with Royal. There was a time that Royal would have had the weight advantage, but he's in so much better shape now. Cardiovascularly, in so much better condition. Bullet, forearm right to the face. He can hang in there with Riley better now than he was, you know, upwards of 350 pounds. But Riley may be able to throw him around Stop. easier than he would have when Royal was carrying all that weight. It's part of the trade-off. Obviously, you want to be in great cardiovascular conditioning, but sometimes you do lose some of your power when you lose your mass like that. Yes, we do. But he doesn't lose that striking ability. That's the last thing that ever goes. Royal climbing the ropes. He's in a very similar position. Well, we, we mentioned this back when he was still active with Corey Edson. You know, he lost so much weight. He went from wrestling like a super heavyweight to being a smaller guy. Riley, great thinking from Riley. Plants him with the power bomb. Nice power bomb.
bomb in the middle. Cover. <laughs> Riley travels all over the country and indeed the world as part of the revolt was just a full impact pro last night down in Florida. This is a guy that literally he, he goes everywhere. He's a gathering of the Juggalos this year. He's been to PWG, he's been so many places, Northeast Wrestling, but still a win here on CWF Worldwide, a win in front of a global worldwide audience. You don't have to purchase a DVD to see this. You don't have to seek it out and, and buy it. All you have to do is click, yes, I want to see CWF Mid-Atlantic. It exposes you to so many more eyeballs the convenience, the connectivity of YouTube. We thank all our YouTube viewers from all over the globe here. A win here, seen by so many more people. But man, it is a win against Royal is hard fought under any circumstance. Yes, it is. Same Charlie. Oh, he caught him. Man, he caught him. String. That's man strength right there. Yes, it is. By the ace of CWF. And all the people watching worldwide just saw Eric Royal deadlift a 300 pound man. What? Riley literally on the rope as the ace of CWF Mid Atlantic earned that title back in Battle Cave in a war against Rick Converse. He is standing tall. He avoids the club. Ooh. Big headbutt. He has used that headbutt very effectively tonight. Royal, they go to fly here. Heads up, Riley. Oh, he could not avoid it. Just got crushed by Royal. Two. That was great ring placement from Royal. Dead in the center of the ring. And he is rolling right now. We mentioned before, once he gets rolling, he is hard to stop. Scored a Torium behind the ace of CWF Mid-Atlantic. Oh, oh, caught a forearm right to the face. Great defensive thinking from Riley. Oh, German. Back of his head. Man, a big man doing a German suplex with a perfect bridge. Boy, the impact on the back of the head and neck like that would have beat so many people, but Royal is up before Riley. Riley has taken some hard, hard shots, and even getting his bell rung in that German could not stop Royal, but for a second or two. Oh, oh, Aaron Royal get the boot up a little too quick. There you go. Back to the ropes. No. Oh, no. Man, you see his head whiplash off the mat. It's two hard smacks into the canvas. And Riley gonna expose us to some toplessness here. He's exposed all right. Cannonball. Oh! Did you hear that meaty thud? The ring just groaned in pain. Royal is down. Royal may be out. All the wind knocked out of him. He's dead, you heard the sense. impact. The sound of Two, Cecil Scott, you could almost see the breath leave Eric Rule's body on that cannonball. Yes, you could. You could almost literally hear it just rushing out of his body. But again, Royal is coming up. So much fun, so hard to stop. You, you just, you just literally, you can't stop him. Eric Royal is forever moving forward. He, he's almost like, uh, like the Terminator almost. He just doesn't stop. Oh, wait, Chris Cross, hello. Riley oh, oh, just grinded God. him on the rope and gouged him in the face and turned into a headlock. Maybe he was trying for a big suplex or a big throw there. Oh, oh, oh. Royal club Riley right in the back of the head. Oh, oh. Riley, huge knee. No Royal catches. No. Jockey for position here. Yeah. Great defensive maneuver from Royal. Shoulders down. Two. 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 Only got two. And he had to maneuver all the way to Riley around to get that cover. I think it may have bought Riley enough time to kick out. Both men down, and Riley may be seeking refuge on the outside here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gonna wrap him up. If he gets wrapped up in those ropes, it's gonna be a bad, bad day for the revolt and for Zane Riley. Could say it'd be rather oh, revolting yeah. for him. The shot may be revolting. No, Riley oh. baited him. Riley baited Royal. Huge clothesline. Man, he caught him. He wasn't expecting that a bit. Cover, oh, shoulders oh. down. Two. Man, what a match we got here to open the show. Unbelievable action from two hard hitting heavyweights. And now it is Royal taking a moment on the outside. Very uncharacteristic of Eric Royal to ever need a moment to catch his breath, need a moment to shake it off. Oh, now the deadlift pulls off. The pile driver is an automatic disqualification here. That deadlift pile driver 
is an automatic disqualification in CWF Mid Atlantic. He can yell at the official if he wants to. He absolutely is. Riley instinctively went for that deadlift pile driver. Riley, that unfamiliarity with the CWF rule system, he went for that power driver and it gave Royal enough time to wrap him up. 10 minutes, 23 oh, seconds. No, here he did a win. Right Eric Royal. Oh,